This is James Holder for IFL TV yeah, in association with Matt and Jim Marbella. We're in time. Liverpool 1 today. With me, I've got Callum Smith. What's up, Nico? Yeah, good. Oh, good. good. How are you? How's your camp been? Yeah, spot on. You know, I think every boxer says that, but this is the first time because I was so active early in my career. I was fighting and then you know, four weeks later I had another one. So I was coming up and down, whereas this is the first time I've done you know, proper like, 10 week camp and myself, I'm feeling the benefits. I feel good, I feel strong. And hopefully I can put in a good performance the weekend. Vacated to WBC International Belt. Yeah. You're now going to be challenging for the WBC Silver Belt against Christopher yeah. Abras. Yeah. Good belt to win? Yeah, definitely. You know, I said that you know, win that, it puts me in a good position. You know, the aim is to fight for the, for the full world title WBC. So, oh. you know, this is another step towards that. As I say, my brother Stevens won it. He could be mandatory for it. Kevin Mitchell won it, then box for the world title. You know, Khan's won it. It is a good title to win. So, as I say, it'd be good to add, add to my CV. As we spoke about with the WBC, you're third now for the WBC. So things are really starting to open up for yourself, Cal, aren't they? Yes, I'm getting closer. I've you know, slowly creeped up them over the last year or so. And then yeah. so as long as you keep winning, then you know, one day we'll become number one and our challenge for the title and I'm confident I'll win it. I mean, Rebras probably mostly known to the UK fighters from his fight with George Groves. Yeah. Did, did you watch that fight? I yeah, know it's well, going back a little bit. What did you make of that? Uh, I thought it was a good fight, to be honest. Good to watch and better than a lot of people expected. I think everyone thought it was a sort of a comeback fight for Groves, but you know, it was a tough night. Groves won convincingly, but he was made to work every round sort of thing. You know, Rebrash gave a good account of himself and he took everything Groves gave him and gave it back himself. So, you know, I'm in for the, sort of the same, 12 tough rounds, and you know, I'm expected that I've worked towards that. And, how I'm confident I can come through it. You know what the media like, there will automatically be comparisons to how you dealt with Rebras, yeah. to how George Groves dealt with him. Do you think about stuff like that or do you just crack on with it? Not really, no, because you know, just because AB to B, B, B to C, I mean AB to C, it's one of them, but you know, we'll be going out to put in a good performance and hopefully do a better job, but you know, it doesn't mean not only if I do or if I don't, you know, I believe one day I can fight for the world title if Groves wins in his next fight then. I would be in if Groves doesn't win it then. No, he's not really in my sights. I just want to have his champion at the time. So I can come through this and I've just got to keep winning and all in all we'll get there. Will you have any interest in going out to George Groves versus Badu Jack? Uh, I'm not too sure. I haven't heard anything to say. I'm a boxing fan as well, so if I had the chance to go, I would go, do you know what I mean? But <laughs> yeah, I will be keeping a close eye on the fight because it's obviously my weight division and I'm ranked highly with that governing body. So yeah, I will pay close attention to it and you know, I'm looking forward to it. I think it will be a good fight. Super middleweight division in the UK, and even on the world team, is absolutely yeah. smashing it at the moment. It's probably one of our better divisions. Yeah. 18 months from now, there could be a whole list of massive fights for you, couldn't Yeah, there? definitely, you know, especially you know, in Britain. There's about six fighters who all, if you ask them, I believe they could become a world champion in the next year or so. So there's only four titles. So I think if you all keep winning, then you know, some of us could fight each other. And as we've seen with the Groves and um, Frotch fight, and you know, the demand for Craig Frampton, Brooke Khan, people love a domestic fight. So, I hope we can make a few of them over the next you know, 12, two years, 12, year, 12 months, two years then. I'm sure there'll be some good fights. Mm -hmm. I mean, it must have been quite hard for you to watch your brother Paul on the TV. So I know you're yeah. very close family, yeah. you, go to, you go to each other's fights yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Did you find it hard watching it back on the TV? Yeah, very tough to be honest with you. I was in, I was in man on my own watching it and you know, I, I would have given anything to be there. But you know, with this fight coming six days after, I couldn't. I had to be a bit selfish. But mm -hmm. you know, it was tough to watch, it's never nice losing. You know, but, he lost to the best in the division by far and well, there's no shame in it but you know, as a sports person and a competitive person it's never nice to lose so I'm sure Paul's disappointed but you know, in the long run I think he knows he lost to a special fighter. Do you think you would like a chance to one day test yourself against Andre Wolves? Do you yeah, think he definitely. could be at the back end of you coming to the top end? You know, hopefully yeah because you know, I think he is the best in the division and has been for you know, a long time. I think he'd come through just after Joe Carzaghi so you know, I think he is the best so if I'm in a position to fight him, then I'm obviously you know, at that level, which is where I want to be. So, you know, if you were to tell me I'd to fight Andy Ward in a few years' time, then I'd be happy. Mm. Your profile's really starting to increase a lot at the moment as well. Yeah. I notice, see your Twitter followers going up yeah, every yeah. day. It's yeah. absolutely flying. So, must be good for yourself. Do you know now people are starting to recognise you and know what you're about a bit? Yeah, it is. You know, you're turned pro and not many people know you. And you know, it's your job to you know, put the performances in and get the wins. And I feel I've done that. So, you know, now I'm starting to get recognition for it. But it obviously is nice. But I say I've got to keep winning. You know, people speak highly of me as you know a future world champion, but that's no good if I don't fulfil it. So I've got to keep working hard and try and ignore all that. And hopefully, you know, one day I'll, I'll, I'll fulfil my potential and we'll win the world title. Well, Rebras is standing in your way Friday. Yeah. Look forward to seeing yeah. a good performance and thank yeah, you for definitely. giving Michael TV a bit of your time. Thank you.